No signs of fires, but it will be blazing hot as we get deeper into this coming week. Meteorologist Steve Sosna is in the First Alert Weather Center. And Steve, how hot are we talking? Yeah, you're going to want to dunk into a pool. You will want to do something to keep yourself cool. Ice cream or all of the above here. It is going to be a long-lasting heat wave, so that's what makes this a little bit tougher. Also, our first one of the season, so your body really hasn't acclimated to it yet. So give yourself a couple of days to ease into it because then we go full throttle uh, by Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So to take a look at the comparison, in an average year in Baltimore, we get about 34 90-degree days or higher. We're up to four already, but wait till you see what's ahead of us. Here is the 10-day temperature trend. So we're going to go from four to probably 14 by the end of this stretch here, and we're not even done with June yet. So it looks like low 90s. This is typical Maryland heat here Monday and Tuesday. You know, you got to take the precautions, but not extremely dangerous. It really starts to ramp up on Thursday at 95. The humidity marries together with the uh, heat Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. These three days look like the toughest right now, potentially into Monday. There's still some discrepancy on how hot Monday is, but this chunk of time is going to be absolutely brutal outside with the feels like temperature surpassing 100 degrees. So the first heat wave of the season, it's on its way this week. It'll be a long lasting one, uh, at least five or six days, maybe more than that. The alert days are Friday through Sunday for the reason of the heat index being above 100 degrees. That's just tough for your body to cool off. Isolated afternoon storms, but this is a very dry forecast. This map continues to pepper with new watches uh, in terms of heat. Excessive heat watches in the Philadelphia area off to the west. I expect heat advisories to be issued in this uh, part of the country here probably in the next couple of days as those temperatures really take off. Humidity levels somewhat high. They're not exceptionally tropical, which is good, but still when it gets this hot, you got to make all those steps here to keep yourself cool. So 94 is what it feels like on Monday, 97 Tuesday, 93 Wednesday. There's the brutal stuff here. And in some places it may feel like 105 to 110 in some of our hottest spots. 74 right now, this is rather enjoyable. That'll be the overnight low in some places here this week. Temperatures jumping pretty quickly, 88 degrees by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Feels like temperatures in the low 90s. Let's go on your corner in Howard County. As you can see, most places hang out around 90 from Columbia, Simpsonville, out toward Poplar Springs. It's going to be a hot one tomorrow, but this is just the beginning. As you can see, low 90s west of the Beltway. Beaches, this is a great week for the beaches. You get the sea breeze every day, shave off 10 to 15 degrees, exceptional beach weather. For your gardens, you got to water them this week here. Otherwise, they're going to be parched. Just do it with uh, caution here because we are headed into drier conditions. So Monday, 92 degrees. Tuesday, 92. Wednesday, 91. 95 on Thursday. And if we hit 100 degrees on Saturday, that would be the first time we've done so in June since 2012. And we've only hit 100 degrees in June 10 times in history. So that'll be interesting. 98 on Sunday. Hopefully we get a thunderstorm to cool us off. Kelsey. All right, Steve, thank you. Well, so to come, 